uh, to be used by you during the, during the procedure. And then you have the second serum, which is the mild chip booster serum. That is the, the patient serum to be used um, at home between the session and after the whole treatment. And then you have also three different concentrates that have to be mixed with the two serum. So you have the first one, which is the hydrating concentrate, the second one, which is the anti-aging, and the final one, the brightening concentrate. So next slide, please. Thank you. Um, and to sum up the, the three uh, really uh, advantage, main advantage with the range. Uh, first, you have the Sebelin patent, which is the exclusive Sebelia patent uh, that is inside uh, the product. And thanks to this patent, we have a direct action on the dermoepidermal junction. Uh, then the, the serums are customizable so that you can uh, highlight uh, the benefits you want to, to give to your patients. And finally, uh, you have a complete offer because you have uh, a booster for you during the procedure and also a booster for your patients to accompany your patients even at home. So I'm going to let uh, Dr. Pelletier uh, um, make a presentation. And so, uh, good afternoon. I hope it's not too hot in your place as here. So uh, we are going to talk about this biomimetic peptides and how we can enhance the result and how we can combine with other energy sources as LED photobiomodulation. But uh, anyway, it's always a signalization story and we are going to see how. This is just theory a little before analyzing the clinical cases we see after. Biomimetism, is uh, well, well, wait a minute because I don't see. Uh, is a uh, um, um, imitation of living, and uh, these are imitation of natural selection solutions adopted by evolution to transpose the principles and processes in human engineering. So these signaling molecules are able to bind to specific cell receptors to regulate the transcription of certain genes. They mimic the activity of a natural polypeptide, polypeptide compensate for deficient physiological mechanism. They are short amino acid sequence derived from the primary structure of a naturally occurring polypeptide. And the combination of several biomimetic peptides improve dramatically the clinical effect. Fragments of natural amino acids, they are stable and reproducible with a well defined amino acid sequence, efficient and precise at very low concentration and is very tiny molecules. Uh, when vegetable peptides, they are less reproducible and uh, they are lasting, they are less lasting, long lasting time. So what I made here in the number is to say that it's like a code, like a messenger code, this little amino acid, this, track, this sequence of little amino acids. So peptides are messengers involved in regeneration and repairing, not only for skin, it can be in neurology, in vascular, and so this is a very big uh, avenues of research. Restore impaired functions by targeting cell signals to induce new cell cycles. And now we have some kind of library of biomimetic peptides. And uh, as what we want for the clinical indication, we can ask for some, uh, some specific oligopeptides. Because it's a question of oligopeptides. They are less than 10 amino acids. They are very tiny peptides, uh, very, very tiny. This is very important because it's not a size, it's a signal they give, which is very important in the, in the tissue, in the organism. Then you have also describing all the ingredients that uh, the speakers told about. We have also hyaluronic acid precursors which are in various pieces. And we know that mixing different pieces size in the same cosmetic are very interesting for best results. We know that large pieces 
are involved in matrix structure, water homeostasis, anti-angiogenetic, anti-inflammatory, and immunosuppressor. And in other place, medium pieces are involved in, in uh, all cells, uh, skin cells homeostasis, collagen elastin, and hyaluronic acid uh, androgen. And we have also to talk about water, which is uh, picked by, up by uh, the hyaluronic acid we put in the, in the skin, not only the androgenous, but also what we are going to put in the skin with the treatment. And these uh, water molecules are vibration, vibrating molecules in, in our skin, but also when we use light and we, we apply light in, uh, in LED, for example, we are going to uh, make them vibrate in a certain way, like a, a conveyor belt. And this conveyor belt is going to transport uh, ingredients and also uh, signals to the cells. So this is very interesting and it was showed by Dr. Alexander Wuch, who, who is the phototherapist, uh, German phototherapist. So we enhance uh, the velocity of this transportation. And we know that in the skin, uh, the cells are chatting, they are very gossip and they talk to each other. This is a dermoepidermal crosstalk, and it's, uh, it's involved in skin homeostasis. And we know that the signals, they cross through uh, the dermal epidermal junction, uh, and they can send signals in a way due, uh, inside the dermis, and in reverse, the signals can go from the cells, fibroblast, to the keratinocyte. So these signals, is supported by uh, cytokines, cytokines, which are uh, messengers too, and uh, which are a lot of signals. And above all, we have one which is very interesting, is transforming growth factor beta, which is some uh, cytokine which is uh, very multifunction and is very involved in these uh, 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 target of uh, biomimetic pep peptides, but also in photo in the target for photobiomodulation. So this is very interesting. This is a, a, a slide from Professor Jean Alexis Grimaud. So you see all this uh, uh, crosstalk we have here, and again here in the healing you can see here, but in healing you have crosstalk from up to down and down to up. So this is very interesting for a lot of regulation of function. So just to show what is light we use is uh, photobiomodulation is LED, LED light. It was before uh, low level laser therapy with helium neon laser in 633 nanometers. This is to say red light. And you can see that now we, we upgrade a lot of colors because we can have blue and violet, we can have red and yellow, we can have the four, but we have to take in mind that anyway, the colors are uh, seen distinctly by the, the skin, is to say that they see the red and they see the yellow, but not mixed. As our eyes, which is vision, we see the mixed color. This is different. So skin is a, is a sensor, but it doesn't perceive the color as the eye. It perceives the color with different vibration, which is dedicated to specific wavelengths, as red and yellow, for example. So in what, what is a, a World Association for Laser Therapy in 2018? They talk about a uh, more precise, uh, dedicated uh, meaning of photobiomodulation. And they say it's a low level laser therapy, which includes applications of visible. Visible is to say 400 uh, uh, nanometers, 415 nanometers to uh, uh, 700 nanometers round and near infrared radiation above all the near infrared uh, after uh, six, 700 nanometers. And it was defined by the World Association Laser, as I said, to the therapeutic use of light absorbed by endogenous chromophores, triggering non-thermal, non-cytotoxic biological reactions through photochemical or photophysical events, leading to physiological changes. 
And we can say that even if we have very low energy of, uh, of this light, we can have effect. One single photon can be efficient, as said Dr. Green, Glenn Calderon. And uh, a lot of study has been made by, with fibroblasts because fibroblasts is like a laboratory rat. It's a very good sensor for a lot of, of wavelengths as natural chromatic range. And also it brings with a study the concept of colors combination. Uh, this colors combination means that if we use, for example, two wavelengths which are very near, uh, a kit of wavelength, we have more efficient than one wavelength. And this is something we have to, to work on because uh, in studies we can see that. And also we know that some wavelengths as uh, red and yellow, for example, combined as 590, which is yellow and 630, which is red, when they are combined and illumination in a study made by Dr. Linda Cook 10 years ago with Vinci Science Laboratory, we can see that we can have uh, the expression of CD44 receptor to hyaluronic acid, which is enhanced. We can see also the collagen one and three, which is involved in rejuvenation, that they are enhanced uh, with, by the light. And this uh, can be enhanced by the light, but they are also targeting the same targets than uh, the, uh, bio, some biomimetic peptides as AQ and AQBR. And this was uh, um, showed in some uh, fibroblast culture, cultured of fibroblast, and showed that this is expression of signaling molecules, and it can be by this biomimetic, but also enhanced by light. And this is support clinical effect. This is remodeling, filling fine wrinkles, and better elasticity of the skin, as we are going to see in the clinical cases. So the targets are the skin, all in the skin, the cells, and we see uh, the, the, the crosstalk, and we see the, the, the cytokines and, and, the, and the signals, uh, molecules. And we have not to forget that also in the scalp, in, in, the, in the hair loss, for example, we have also the scalp, which is to be to consider because it's a, like a skin. And when we talk about hair loss, we have to talk about the scalp and we have to talk of this skin, which is covering the scalp. So we have to say that we can use, for example, that's why I say that, we can, we can use, for example, the anti-aging concentrate as we are going to talk about. So, Finally, for the theory, we can say that these biomimetic peptides would therefore be coded signaling agents. Uh, they are like uh, something we can think about this basis we have in DNA strand structure, this elementary basis, which are code too. So this is something like process codes and uh, the story is beginning. But this is uh, something which is a sequence uh, like uh, something which can be part of epigenesis if we can talk about after if we have time. So this is a bibliography, but this is not exhaustive. You have a lot of, but this seems to be interesting. Now we are going to talk about the clinical applies. Uh, so I think this is a precious tiny tool for rejuvenation. I, I, I insist about tiny because it's very tiny. It's not a question of quantity is a question of signaling. And we use, I choose four patients for a preliminary study uh, with brightening concentrate and LEG booster. Uh, it was for dark circles, we are going to see. The second patient is anti-aging and hydrating concentrate with LEG boosters. For the second patient, which is a neck, the work on the neck. The third one, antigen with LED booster for, um, I don't remember, I'm going to see. Uh, okay, we are going to see after. And uh, we have anti-aging LED booster also for the hair loss, as I talked about with the target. So first one, uh, I, I described the protocol, is three mesotherapy sessions, 10 days apart. And we have to, we can, we can proceed in two manners, or 
one manner or one other, or two manners combined with the same patient, because this is a problem of clinical examination, and we are going to see after. So we can make papules with a 30G needle and we, with a syringe, and we can make injection with 27.5G or 30G needle, which is not injection for a filling. I repeat, it's not a filling of treatment. It's not a filling care. It's something which is induced targeting signals for repairing and for uh, regulation of functions. So after the papules and the injection, we are going to smooth the surface, the area, and massage. It is very important massage to dilute uh, the, the, the solution and uh, enhance the signalization then. And uh, followed by same time by photobiomodulation. We have not two wins after. You know, you let them uh, with the solution and with the, the care until the, the next day. They, they, they don't wash after the care. They have to keep it during the night because it's going to make an effect and uh, they can wash after in the morning the, the next day. So you see, this is uh, uh, something very important, massage and don't wash after the care. So what is the tool? What are the tools? Micro needle, two kinds. So you have electric and manual kind, which are here, and you have radio frequency, which is some uh, electricity, which is uh, um, uh, well, it's it's. Uh, I wanted to say what is radio frequency, but I, I will take about when when it comes back to my my brain. So electric. Uh, and uh, uh, you have here three kinds, but you have a lot on the market. This one is uh, is uh, Ferrari uh, for the moment uh, from Spega Medical with electronic uh, uh, a screen on on the, the the side for the the, the velocity and uh, for the speed and and for the depth of uh, the work. And you have here the end caps. You have the thermal or calming cream, extreme care sibilia just before LED session. You put on, on the, the area. And you have here the, the, the end caps, but this way is radio frequency, uh, is not, uh, is not uh, manual or electric uh, only. And also you have compressed with thermal water. So this is not a very big. Uh, tools, a big number of tools. We can use very simple tools, even a roller, which is a mechanical one. But anyway, if we have something more, uh, it's better, but it's okay. End caps, you see the end caps with these picks, which are some needles, hmm? some uh, needles which can have depths different with uh, uh, the speed of, uh, of the motor. Here is radio frequency and caps. Uh, is alternative current, what did I say? Alternative for the change of sense uh, many times a, a second. Okay, this is here. And these are electrodes. So these are micro needles, but they are electrodes. And here you have in roller, but in radio frequency, and in needle, but in radio frequency. These are, well, I, I will take you the, the, give you the company if you ask. Here, uh, I, don't, I don't stay on this slide we talk about, but this, uh, we are going to use this kind of light. And first, clinical cases, complexion and dark circles. You see here, I use red and yellow because I talked about, with a study I show you fast, uh, quickly, because this, this study showed that we are, uh, we are regulation also of the complexion in the study, which were done in vitro and in vivo, in vitro on fibroblast and on keratinocyte culture, and in vivo, it was done with confocal microscopy. So I use this observation to work with the polypeptide, with the peptide, and with the light. And so, here, this is a, the beginning before the treatment. You can see that 
what I observe in clinical practice that these young women are very concerned about uh, this dark circle because they are always look tired. And almost they, when they say to them that, oh, you look like tired, this is more uh, depressing for them. Uh, so this is the first session. Here I show the hyperemia, which is very interesting, not only for the polypeptide, but also for uh, the targeting of light, because light left the, the low level uh, light uh, are very involved in the first uh, phase of inflammation of uh, healing, for example, the, uh, of this is inflammation. So more you have inflammation, more you have targeting of light. And then more you have combined with the polypeptide. So you can see here, this is, uh, we see that they are fading. Mm -hmm. And we can say also that the results are very um, tiny, uh, step by step, but finally, at the end, we see really the difference. You see how it's like a regulation. What I want to, to, to show you that it's very, really a regulation for the polypeptide and for the peptide and for the light. The combination has the same target for some of them. And so it's very interesting to combine the two. But naturally we have other sorts of energy we didn't try or, or we have to try, uh, but this is an example. This is an example of how we can combine now with the, the, the century 21, you can combine these peptides and we have a lot of, uh, of results in, 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 in clinical practice. You see here how the difference is really visible. I have to tell you also that this lasting result, it is a lasting result. It's something is going to stay uh, 20 days after, you know, the end of pro protocol. So you can imagine that you make the protocol and then you make uh, once a month or once in two months. Uh, this is to evaluate with your patient, but this is something very interesting for, uh, for the, the patient, for the care. Now is neck. Neck is difficult to treat. Neck is really a very big demand and it's very difficult to, to treat. So now I, I need, I try to use some parameters I had for uh, my work when I use for other, uh, with other treatment for the neck. And so I use these parameters combining with polypeptide. Don't forget, don't forget that skin is reading each wavelength. That means that anyway, the red and yellow are effective and regulation even in the skin, even if, if we have the other colors, because the skin is, is reading each color separately, not like the eye. We may we put the thermal compress on the wall on, on the skin, and I show you in the theory that you you have something very interesting about water. And also you can make more penetration of water and ingredients with some uh, compress with water, because there are some studies which were made 30 years ago with uh, red light, with helium neon laser, showing that it makes entering water in the cells. It doesn't mean that water is enhanced or, or down. It means that you regulate the water and regulate the enhance of water. So skin uh, is a sim more, uh, more uh, feeling. More feel. Here you see how we manage. We put the panel, but we put the panel, and we don't put just uh, above the skin. And we we put through uh, thermal water compress, which is very important for for my practice because I have much better results for the what I told about the yellow, uh, the the water and the yellow acid. 
to show what is the LED in the source of the device. They are like that, you know, like something we can eat, hmm? junk food. And this is neck. You can see the, the wrinkles, which are very marked hmm? here too. So what I talked about is when we work, we are going to make papules, but we can make also injection, not very deep, just to put inside the wrinkle, not to feel, I say, just to make signaling and to, to involve this part, which is marked. But as it is a field, we have not to talk about only the wrinkle. We have to talk of what is surrounding the wrinkle, because uh, photobiomodulation, for example, but not only, all these new discoveries show us that we are in, in an area. We are not in a wrinkle, we are in an area. And like that, we can think about regeneration more. You see here, session one, we begin. Mm -hmm. And you see that so this is the second protocol we can use because it's like in a kitchen. We use what you have in the kitchen. We cannot have all the, all the devices and all the, the things, but we are going to, if you have red and yellow and me, it's okay. It's good too, you see? So the, I don't see the, uh, wait a minute. I just want to show, ah, I don't see what is the session. Okay, here I want to show you the papules, which are here. And I can tell you that anyway, we can do if you want here, for example, you are not going to feel like hyaluronic reticulated acid. This is not the purpose. The purpose is to, to give signals and then the, 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 the skin is going to work with this crosstalk, as I talked to you before, with this peptide, which is on the crosstalk, and they are going to work with that, and they are not going to feel, but they are going to regulate the area. So what is here you see, papules, and I can tell you that with light, these papules are fading just after the procedure, and they are not marked, they can go working, it's not a problem. You see here the papules, but if, for example, here, is bad or here is bad, you can you can inject, as I told you, with uh, 30G needles or or with uh, 27.5 needles if, we, if you want to be a little deeper. It's okay, it doesn't matter. You, you are not here to feel, it's not going to make something very uh, uh, important, it's just to uh, target the signals with the, poly, with the biomimetic peptide. Okay, you see that uh, progressively it's fading. It's something very, she was so happy, this woman. She was working in psychiatrist uh, unity, so she was very happy to don't look, uh, to be a, a little uh, more aesthetic uh, aspect, because this is not so easy. Look. We have really a fading of our wrinkles. And what is interesting too is that we have a long lasting result because the signal continue in the skin as well. We talk about skin, but we can imagine what it can be in other uh, medicine fields. Here. This is later, 20 days later. But you see, we have something interesting 20 days later. So you, you, can, uh, you can maintain the result by other sessions you do. Uh, for example, you can say every month during two months, for example, or, and then uh, two, every three or four months. This is to adapt to our patients. The second, the second clinical case is one regulation after surgery for an upper lip congenital angioma. And I talk about regulation. I don't say one healing. I say one regulation because it's really what happens in clinical observation. Here you see this scar is very uh, anesthetic one. 
So this is the first, uh, before the first session, you see. This is the three session. And you see with this feeling, it's not feeling with solution, it's feeling with signal induced by the peptide combined with the light. And what I want to tell you that the result is very fast. Is more is faster when we do like that with the peptide than the, the ingredient alone. For example, I can obtain this result in three months, but with this technique combining the two, I have the results in one month. This is really very interesting. And this is true also for the other clinical case. See how the, the result is really interesting. This woman was very happy. You see, you need you you have the impression of feeling, but you have the impression of something which is regulation. It's not really feeling like you feel with an uh, injection of hyaluronic acid or other thing. This is something really very interesting because it's a work done by the patient. And 27 days after, this is more regulation. This is to say that we work on a field and the notion of field is done, is given by this new techniques, by the new molecular the peptides, the LED. This is new way of, of thinking, repairing. Hair loss. She had hair loss on top of the skull and temples, aggravated with postpartum situation. So now I use parameters that I use normally in a certain situation, and I adapt with this peptide, biomimetic peptide. I, I choose anti-aging peptide for the reason I talk about, because in theory, I talk to you that the, the skin of the skull was, was a skin like the skin of our face, for example, or neck. And so we have to, I, I think, as a, the, the speaker talked about uh, the concentrate, I think in the anti-aging concept in, in concentrate, it was very interesting to put this, to put uh, the, to use for, for uh, the, the skin of the skull. I can use also the red and infrared because these two wavelengths are very interesting in hair loss too. So it to, sh to show the edge of skull. Because what was very, she was very concerned about the age of skull because it was a little poor, you know, and uh, more than the top of the skull, she was very concerned about that. And again, uh, this part also, this part was very uh, poor also. And this is to show the age. Mm -hmm. So now we begin the session. And the result is very, very fast. You see, the result is very fast. This is something which was really very uh, a surprise for me. Yeah, no? Voilà. She had difficulty to, to comb her hair after. This is session three, 10 days apart. So session three, we are 20 days. No, we are 30 days, excuse me. This is two days after session three. You see how is the age? And this is 20 days after session three. That's what I talked to you about this delayed effect, which is very important in regeneration, aesthetic medicine. So 
So we have a faster result, one month instead of three months, possibility of modulating the molecules according to the indication, biomimetic peptides bank. We have some, we can ask for some uh, different peptides. Well, not the practitioner, not the doctor, but uh, the like uh, Sevilla company. And we adapt the photobiomodulation parameters based on clinical data already improved. As I told you, I use some parameters I, I was uh, use, using in my office. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pelletier. And so to conclude uh, this presentation, I just wanted to go back to the micronutrition concept, which is the concept around um, the Sevilla Pro range. Oh. Can you can you click please? Ah yeah. yes, I give you the. I'm sorry. Alors, no, attends. don't worry. You, you can click the details. Peux... Ah non, je vous donne le contrôle ou pas? Uh, as you ah, as oui, you. Non, je Pardon, excusez-moi. As you want, as you want. Ah bah voilà, c'est bon. Yes, you can continue. So the typical micronutrition concept is the fact to bring micronutrients to the skin through a cosmetic product, which is the Sebella Pro HG Booster. Um, it will uh, maximize the active ingredient penetration because you use the product during uh, your high aesthetic procedures and mainly high aesthetic treatment that increase the skin permeability and it also creates synergies between this uh, aesthetic uh, procedure and multiply the beauty results so has to, to treat the skin micro deficiency and to fight against skin aging and to offer uh, of course long lasting beauty results. So in the range, you have the doctor serum, the personalized concentrates, and the patient serum. And inside the, the, the formula, you have a micronutrients cocktails composed of three powerful peptides. Uh, so the peptides uh, the doctor just talked about. Um, you have argiolin mutation, but also a patented peptide sebelin. You also have essential fatty oils, a powerful cocktail of vitamin, polyphenols, amino acids, and <laughs> you can continue, and minerals, thank you. And then um, you I have also uh, dermis natural proteins, such as, um, no, you can, you can uh, continue, doctor. Thank you. So you have elastin, uh, collagen, and hyaluronic acid, and the hyaluronic acid in the pro booster is really highly concentrated. And thanks to uh, this uh, cocktail of uh, micronutrients and natural derm dermis proteins, uh, you will have an action on uh, both uh, an external and internal action. You can continue. Thank you. Uh, so you will have an action outside because you apply a cosmetic product uh, at the external layer of the skin. So the skin is at the forefront of the micronutrition. Um, as you increase the skin's permeability during the, the procedure, you will also have a better penetration of the active ingredients. And you will also maximize uh, the benefit of the micronutrients thanks to synergies between uh, procedures. And finally, you also have an action, uh, an internal action, thanks to the Sebelin patent. Uh, indeed, Sebelin patent is the exclusive uh, Sebelia patent that has an action on the dermoepidermal junction. So thanks to this ingredient, um, you will really uh, straighten the dermoepidermal junction, its biological and mechanical role, and it will also uh, improve the, um, the exchanges and the micronutrition between the dermis and the epidermis. You, you can continue, doctor? No, I don't Thank you. Uh, so to, to sum up the range, you have the two serums. So the first one on the left is the pro LHA booster for a professional use so that you can use during your procedure. And then you have the my LHA booster, which is the patient serum. Uh, the patient will use it between the session and after the whole uh, treatment. And next please. And then you have three concentrates. Uh, the first one, the hydrating, then the anti-aging, and finally the brightening. Next, please. Thank you. And to sum up, you can use the Sebelia Pro boosters in combination to many uh, aesthetic procedures, such
such as microneedling for face or head scalp, peeling, fractional laser, but also with radiofrequency and sono immunophoresis, and also LED, as uh, Dr. Feltier showed you. And uh, all this um, uh, protocol will help the skin to regain balance and good health, and also to slow down the skin aging process. So that's uh, all for me. So now I'm going to let Dr. Pelletier answer the different questions that we have in the chat. Uh, let's have a look. So you have, yes, you have a question about the, um, the SCAR session. Yes. Uh, the question is, what did you use for the SCAR session? So maybe I you use, can... I use anti-aging uh, anti uh, uh, concentrate with LED booster. Um, because uh, you have uh, uh, you have an uh, element like elastin, collagen, biopeptide uh, uh, of uh, for the dermal epidermal junction, and I use only this one with LED, LED booster and LED. Uh, I'm I'm going to to come back to the, the uh, to come back to the. Ah, to the case clinic. To the case the clinical case to show you. So here, um, this was for the neck, anti-aging and hydrating, and this is for uh, the scar. Let me see. Okay. So I use exclusively anti-aging uh, concentrate with the LED booster. This is the question, or he wants also the protocol? I don't really know. The question is just what did you use for the SCAR session? I use that, and I use uh, the parameters as I show you. Uh, The, the, what I show you is here, I, I use the same than I told you before, is red and yellow, uh, six, uh, 60, uh, 60 uh, joule per centimeter square. And I don't know if this person uh, practiced LED. I don't know. Just ask if, who is the person who asked? Uh, it's in, on the chat. Maybe um, it's the Dr. Hayam. So maybe. Yeah, I, I use red and yellow, so red, red and yellow in 660 uh, joule per centimeter square in uh, 70 milliwatt per square centimeter, excuse me, excuse me, and during 15 minutes. And I made, um, as I showed you before, I put, uh, well, I can explain how I did here, because this is very interesting. I first, I made like micro needle. As I told you, I show you with the, the device I showed you before. And then in the second session, I put injection inside. It was a little painful for the patient. But I inject directly inside the scar the biopeptide, Sebelia. And uh, what I noticed, this is a very interesting question because I, I remember now, what I noticed that he was much more efficient after the, the, this, uh, this uh, work, uh, when I, I made in injection. So I think we have to do, to combine uh, injection and um, uh, mesotherapy. Uh, injection, as I talk with needle, with 30G needle or 27.5G needle, and mesotherapia, when it's uh, some, in this case, I did that, and I can combine, uh, but I didn't combine in the same session. I made one session with mesotherapia and one session with injection. Thank you. And we also have another question, which is about um, uh, your experience on kids, kids' scar. Hey, what? Kids' car? Yes. Uh, I, I, for the kids. Yes. For the kids. But for the kids, you know that we have a, a, a lot of keloids in kids or 
I have hyper um, hyper uh, the way they are very often they are they are hypertrophic they can be so this is a big problem but in the skin scar I have no experience of biopsy because it's very new but I I can you I can imagine some protocol with elastoplast elastoplast which is like silicone we put on the scar and then we can make some kind of mesotherapy on the scar. But we know that for the kids, often the, the, the scars are, they can be keloid or hypertrophic. But this is a good avenue for treatment, but this is very new. So I have no experience, but I will have, I think, if I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Is there any other question? Oh, there is a question from Dr. Fernando Quintanilla. Um, how much time do the peptides last on the skin? So I don't know, but I can. It, it's not a problem of, of lasting the peptide because the peptide is like, is like something which is giving a signal. Uh, even if the peptide is not there, it's, no, it's not important. What is important is to give the targeting of the signal. So uh, what I, I see when we work with light and we are, uh, we are inducing signal, what I see is, all, is really always uh, three months of, uh, of remodeling and regulation. So I can imagine that we have to wait two or three months and then beginning uh, repeat the session. But it's a long lasting treatment because it's a signaling treatment. It's not a feeling treatment. So I don't know how much time it lasts, but I don't, I don't think this is the most important for the clinical effect. I think this is to, to give the signal because it's a regulation of function. What I can say that when the, the skin is aging, I think the regulation, even if it's done by the, bio, by the signal of a, a biomimetic peptide or MI, for example, uh, it's less interesting than when it's in a very young people. That's normal. But anyway, it does. It, it has an effect, as we see for the neck, for example. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Other question, maybe? Okay, so it, it does not seem that there, there is other question, maybe. Uh, but you we... know, I want to say that we are in the pro process. So uh, we are going to see other, other indications for sure and discover other, other results. But this is a very promising, promising technique. Thank you very much. Dr. I wait for your results. <laughs> um, what, what is very nice is that uh, when we launched the first product, Sebelia, with the Sebelin peptide, we could not imagine that there were so much promising uh, field to develop with that peptide. And so thanks to you, we discovered this signalization, and it's very interesting. And I'm sure that uh, the doctors and here will, will experiment new treatments. And you know, now we can see that the aesthetic field come and help the medicine field, as you see in this car, because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a medicine field car for this yeah. woman. Yeah. Yeah. And we see that aesthetic come as a, as a guy, Andrews, to help her. Okay. So thank you very much, Dr. Pelletier. Thank you very much, uh, all of you, to be there uh, Saturday. And we hope to see you uh, soon in uh, other webinar or maybe in, uh, in physical congresses soon. Thank you very much. Thank oh, there, is a, there is a last question, I think. Ah, yes. Dr. Fernando Quintanilla, can the peptides cause cancer in the skin with many applications? Can, can the peptide cause Could cancer? Could cancer? Yes, cause. Can cause ah, cancer. Yes. Uh, uh, the, the peptides are, are used in a very numerous field now, 
And uh, for, for the moment, we don't talk about uh, cancer for this, uh, but this is a question really important, but for the moment, we don't, we don't hear about that. Because uh, this, I, I think, from my point of view, that is a question of regulation. So I, I am, I'm not sure that, well, if, if you ask this question, perhaps, perhaps, we have to be careful when we have some people who are in a, who have cancer. But uh, for the moment, I think, uh, uh, as we use, for example, photobiomodulation LED in support care, for cancer after cancer therapy, I think uh, uh, there is no, for the moment, there is no cases or they talk about that. And they, I don't, I don't, I cannot answer sh surely to you, but uh, I didn't hear about cancer for this uh, pepti peptides. Uh, you know, I, I think I, peptides. sorry, uh, Michel, I, I think I could uh, ask uh, Dr. Patricia Roussel who is the, the, the pharmacist who yes. uh, works mm -hmm. on laminin 5. And I will ask her what mm -hmm. she's saying about that. Okay, And, and maybe we will send you uh, the answer of Dr. Roussel. She was the founder of this uh, peptide with Laboratoire d'Anjou. So she, she is maybe the, the more okay. well-placed to, uh, to answer us. But it's a question important. Yeah, mm. of course. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 I will investigate and let you know. Okay. So I know there is another one. <laughs> yes. uh, so it's uh, for the dark shadows, the injection is also SQ. Um, and we mix and shading and the brightening together or in different sessions. Yes, you put brightening concentrate with LEG booster and you make in a micro needling manner. You don't make injection in this case. You just and do, you, do you mix and changing and brightening? No, I don't thing? mix. I just put a brightening. Okay. I mix for neck, uh, for neck, I mix anti aging and hydration because it's a part which is also. Um, lo, lo, which lost uh, water, but in these dark circle, circles, I use only brightening concentrate with LED booster. And I think if you have something they can use, as you told, uh, at home, it's very interesting. They can continue uh, uh, with a cosmetic, dedicated cosmetic. But I think it's a very good uh, um, help for these young women, because this is a, a, a very big demand. Mm -hmm. And it's not uh, painful. OK. The last question, or? You me donnerez la réponse pour le cancer, Carole. Yeah, yeah, I will. À moi yeah, aussi. Will. <laughs> of course. À vous, de façon préférentielle. <rire> oui. okay. Vous pouvez mon mail s'ils ont besoin de, de trucs par rapport à des à théories ou des choses comme ça, ah, okay. des, ou des protocoles. Okay. Yes. Dr. Pelti is uh, very kind and she uh, offers to give you to give you her uh, email. So if you have any question about the protocols, you can ask her di directly. Thank you so much. Thank you also for your congratulations. It was really. Um, very nice to, to share with you all the, these um, excellent results. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much to you. Bye and have Bye. a good day.